Today's review is going to be a fun one. This one. Born to Run by Christopher McDougall. It's not an academic book. It's not an anthropological account of any kind of a lost tribe. It's a fun novel that takes a fascinating subject matter and it uses hyperbole to put across a conviction that the author has. I love the book and reveled in its many sketches and plots. It basically talks about the world of endurance sport and is meant as an inspiration to experiment with a more holistic approach towards running. To me, it helped me draw analogies to my whole entire life. I mean, what if I took this book and applied its folk wisdom, which in a nutshell was slow and steady wins the race, uh, too much, too quick, too soon is just not worth it. And interconnectedness, engagement, play and a certain lightness of being contributes to endurance. This is in stark contrast to the competitive, forceful, warlike, macho, gladiatorial approach that we are usually trained in as athletes. As a psychologist, the book was really mind-bending for me because it has helped me enjoy 90 minutes of endurance training every day without thinking of it as exercise. And I don't care much about my body image, but uh, to be able to focus on experiencing, appreciating and immersing myself in my form is a big deal for me because of having struggled with consistency in exercise all my life. And if like me, you don't take things literally, I would advise the reader, that is you, to also see this book in the same light. Uh, you need to take it with a pinch of salt, but if you can do so, then it's consciousness expanding. I also decided to use its wisdom to alter my own thoughts about my relationship with my body and sports. I love sports, but I hate exercise, and I was able to reconcile both on reading this book. I did my own study on the indigenous populations mentioned in the book, and I admit I enjoyed the embellishments that the author presented me with and did not look at it as a scientific inquiry into the biomechanics of minimal footwear or barefoot running. Also, I did not mind the biases that the book had, given how much I'm actually bombarded with biases from different companies trying to sell me different things in the name of sports and exercise. The author, Christopher McDougall, is a writer for magazines like Esquire, New York Times Magazine, and has other books to his credit. He's been criticized for his dramatizing of accounts, but honestly, as someone who enjoys both serious and light reading, I found the book thrilling and provocative. Uh, I would give it a 5 on 5 and would recommend it to all those like myself looking to enjoy life to its fullest and being all-rounders. There's a link to the book below which if you use at no extra cost to you, I get credit to buy more books to review. I also have a newsletter that offers you self-help resources that have been verified by me. So if you wish to sub subscribe to either of these, the link is below as well. Until next time, happy trails to you.